Hi viewers, this channel warm welcomes you. The news on dent in the Earth's magnetic field has caught on like wildfire across the digital community. But how much we need to worry about its impact? A fairly well-known phenomenon called South Atlantic Anomaly refers to the unusually weak magnetic field over South America and the Southern Atlantic Ocean. The recent data from NASA shows that the dent is splitting into two that's evolving into a major threat for future satellite missions. The planet Earth has a strong magnetic field and this magnetic property comes from its core which hosts molten iron and nickel. The magnetic field is important as it prevents the sun's harmful charged particles entering the Earth's atmosphere. Without the protective shield of the magnetic field, the solar winds can easily damage the entire Earth's atmosphere and biosphere. The magnetic fields are aligned with a pair of donut-shaped belts known as the Van Allen radiation belts. These cloud-shaped belts specifically trap the charged particles streaming continuously to the solar wind and help to bounce off the particles from Earth's magnetic field. The belts are part of the magnetosphere where the Earth's magnetic field meets solar winds. As per NASA, when the strong storm of particles from the Sun reaches Earth, the Van Allen belts can become highly energized and the magnetic field can be deformed, allowing the charged particles to penetrate the atmosphere. This is what is happening over South America and the Southern Atlantic Ocean. Currently, no direct impact seen on daily life on Earth's surface, but the South Atlantic anomaly thus affect spacecraft, the International Space Station, and low-orbit satellites passing through the region. That's because the higher quantities of charged solar particles seeping through can cause small functions in computers and circuitry. That's why NASA scientists are tracking this weak spot. The three European satellites called SWARM are used by the researchers to measure and monitor the Earth's magnetic field in the affected region. Some studies suggest that the South Atlantic anomaly's total area has quadrupled in the last 200 years and that the South Atlantic anomaly continues to expand year over year. In the last five years or so, the anomaly have split in half, according to scientists at NASA and the European Space Agency. One area of magnetic weakness has developed over the ocean southwest of Africa, while another sits east of South America. The field has lost around 9% of its strength on average over the last 200 years. NASA explained that anomaly can cause problems with electronic systems, interrupt data collection, and lead expensive computer components on spacecraft like the Hubble Space Telescope to age prematurely. Hubble passes through the anomaly in 10 of its 15 orbits around Earth each day, spending nearly 15% of its time in this affected region. The International Space Station has extra shielding to protect astronauts on board from solar radiation, but the instruments in and around the space station aren't as well protected. So, if solar particles hit a key component of one of these instruments, it could burn them completely. Hence, scientists shut down certain components or instruments while passing through the area. As NASA explained in a video, the Solar Anomalous and Magnetospheric Particle Explorer, ESA's Swarm Earth Explorer, and NASA's Inospheric Connection Explorer monitor the South Atlantic anomaly position and track its evolution. Along with this mission, geomagnetic, geophysics, and heliophysics research groups of the agency have also created theoretical models of the South Atlantic anomaly to look over the region and predict how it can affect the near Earth environment in the future. I believe by tracking the slowly evolving dent in the magnetic field, researchers can better understand the way a planet is changing and help prepare not only for a safer future for satellites, but also the entire biosphere. 
how do you oversee the impact of evolving tent kindly let us know in the comment section thank you i hope you like this video and thanks for watching it please subscribe and click on the bell button for more updates kindly give a thumbs up for this video and do share with your friends